This is the very edge of Scotland. We're already 50 miles west of the mainland coast, and that way, nothing but ocean for 3,000 miles. Facing the wind and the waves is this stretch of exposed beach and macker, a patchwork of inundating water and eroding land. There are few places more exposed to the elements, and yet here, among all this natural drama, is what's been described as golf's holy grail. Golf exploded in popularity in the late 19th century. And this fine fellow, old Tom Morris, came to the fore as the first genius of golf course design. In the early 1890s, he laid out a course here, among the sand dunes of South Uist. The result was said to be one of the greatest 18-hole courses in the country, and old Tom's masterpiece. But by the end of the 20th century, the original course had been lost. I've come to meet Askernish Golf Club member Alan MacDonald to find out more about this intriguing story. Did you always know about the Old Tom course? Locally, it was always well known that Old Tom had come out and laid out a course. And we knew it had been an 18 hole course, and then through time it, it kind of uh, dropped down. So we reckon around the war, war period, it had gone down to 12 holes. At that time, the, they'd started using the golf course as a landing strip. Eventually, by the time we got to the 60s and 70s, it was down to nine holes. Were traces of, of those other nine holes there, you know, bits of fairway, bits of green? Yeah, we would often stand and look to the, to the south of the course and I could just see these natural looking fairways and, and just dream about one day being able to play golf there. And so the kind of course had been eroded away by history a little bit? Yeah, it had been forgotten almost, yeah, it had been forgotten with the sands of time, yeah. Okay. These photos show this landscape as it was then, blown with sand and riddled with rabbit holes. And it could have remained exactly like that if it hadn't been for a stroke of good luck. When a golf course designer called Gordon Irvin heard about the lost course and became curious. What a space this is though, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's almost like nature's closing in around you. Yeah. It's the crowd watching you. Yeah, it's a really special green complex, this one. You just wouldn't really see this anywhere else. What, what did it look like when you first came to have a look at it? It was middle of winter, you can imagine. I mean, today's not exactly summer. Um, it was February and everything was coated in sand and we drove up to what is now the seventh tee um, and they pointed down in this direction and says, this is, you know, the old course was down there somewhere. And I said, I can actually see, there's a golf hole right in front of us and I can see a few more further on. And they were just like, where? And I said, no, it's there. And it's just waiting for us to, to bring it back to life. So I wanted to do it. I was sort of thinking if it's old Tom as well, it makes it even more special. Today, the course is back to its full 18 holes, as close to how old Tom Morris imagined as it's possible to be. It's a remarkable complex of dramatic bunkers and wild fairways. And what were the principles that Old Tom worked to? Well, Old Tom was famous for the fact that he, he didn't build a golf course. He found a golf course. So he, was, he would strategically find golf holes within the natural terrain. Um, so we worked with those principles very, very clearly. So is this really like playing golf as it was originally meant to be played? Yes. I mean, golf was always in harmony with nature. It was meant to be the fact that you played within nature, you didn't abuse it or change it. Um, we don't use pesticides on the golf course, which is quite unique today, uh, which means the golfers that come, they have to develop a relationship again with daisies and buttercups and, and, and you know, we, we cut the grass as often as the grass needs to be cut. We don't over present it. We certainly don't worry about green speeds and all of these modern day things. Um, and we let the golfer just enjoy being part of the marker. Go on, go on, unlucky. Ah, there we go. There we are. For me, the reason that this was old Tom's masterpiece was because he didn't have to change the surroundings to make a course. The course was simply waiting to be found 
Its hollows and valleys and ridges have been shaped by the environment over hundreds, even thousands of years. Nature had sculpted the ultimate course and old Tom just used what was already here to position his 18 holes. This was and is golf in its purest form, raw and wild, as much about the natural world as it is about sport.